Hi, in this quick little video, I'll show you how you can place an order, an option order, a future order in Zero Thumb. So what you do is on the watch list, you simply add what you're looking for. Let's say if I'm looking for HDFC Bank and I want to do something in the future. So I'll just type HDFC Bank future and you'll get some options here. I want to do it in November. That's the near month. And at the same time, what I also want to do is I want to short a call. Let's say if I, if I want to short HDFC Bank and I want to add a, a put option or a call option with it, what I'll do is I'll simply type HDFC and I'll type in uh, you know what I'm looking for. Let's say if I'm looking for a 1200 put. Right. Now, what I'll do is I'll short this for doing that. I'll just put it, put this individually. Okay. So let's say if I want to sell it, I simply click on sell. Or if I, by accident, I've uh, you know selected buy, I can just change it from here. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll just specify a limit price. It's trading at 1244 right now. Let's say I want to do this at 1244.5. So I'll just put this in, and this would stay in the system here. Till the time it does not reach my price, I've specified the limit price as uh, 1244.5 and it's trading at uh, 1243.6. Till the time it doesn't reach there, this order will not go through. Similarly, I can even sell this. Now I'm making a covered put here. So I'm selling a future and I'm selling a put. Okay. So if I want to do this, what I'll do is I'll simply go here, click on sell or I can toggle this and change the position. I want to sell this, let's say at, uh, you know, let's see where the buyers and sellers are. So I want to sell this, so I would be looking at the buyer. The bid price is at 26.45 and the seller is asking for 26.6, right? So let's say I want to do it at 27. When it reaches 27, this would go through, right? Now, as you can see, the price that I'd specified is 44.5 and it's trading at 42.4 now. So till the time it does not reach my price, it will not go through. So what I can do is I can even change the price from here. I go here on these little dots and I click on modify and I can change this. I can change this to let's say 43. And when I put this in, it will go through. I'll do that right now. There you go. It has gone through. And I'll change this too. Right now, I'll just show you this first. See, this is where it is. Uh, the price has gone slightly above the price that I'd sold it at. So I'd selected 43. Now the price that I got was slightly better. It is 12.43.2. Uh, okay, it's making some bit of money for me. Okay, now I can do the same here. I can modify this to let's say uh, 26.9. That's the the LTP. Now if I do this. Let's see where the buyers and sellers are. We'll look at the market depth. So this is where the buyer is. Now, if I have to uh, get this order, I need to place the order at 26.45 and this would go through. I'll show this to you. So I change this. I go here and modify this and I change this to, let's say, 45. This order will now go through. OK, now, if, if you look at this, this is how it's uh, looking like right now. The price has gone slightly above and this future is now giving me some bit of loss and this put is you know the the price hasn't changed so what i can do is i can exit this one by one if i'm if i don't want any more losses i can simply exit it or i can put a stop loss too so i'll, I'll click on exit and here i'll put a stop loss let's say if i don't want a loss of more than two rupees what i can do is let's say i can put the price at my buying price was uh, my selling price was 1243 if it goes above uh, 1245 I just want to exit this straight so anywhere between 45 to 46 12,045 to 12,000 uh, 1245 to 1246 this would get executed so if I place this in now if the price start to go up I'll be exiting right if it goes down then I'll be making some bit of profit so let's wait and see how the things would pan out so I'll wait wait for it uh, you know for a minute or so let's see what it shows me and then I'll simply exit. OK, so as you can see right now, the put is giving me some bit of profit and the short future is giving me some bit of loss. And I put the stop loss here as uh, uh, 1245. So as soon as it reaches 1245, it would exit the trade and I'll, I'll go out with that small little loss. 
or you can even I can choose to exit right now. How I can do that is I go here and look at uh, the last traded price and this is what I've specified. I can I can modify this. Now I can make this is a stop loss order. I can make it a, a limit order. Okay. If I make it a limit order and put my price in, it will get executed at the price that I put in if the price reaches there. So right now the price is at 1243.5. I can just put this amount in. Okay, that, that's if I want to exit this. Okay, I can just simply put this in. And once I click on modify, as soon as the price reaches uh, 1243.55, it'll get executed. Okay, so let's just wait and see what happens here. Okay, so there you go. I'm making some bit of money here. And now what I can do is I can modify this to let's say 1242.8 and 1243 now in case if the price starts to go up this will get executed like it's going up right now so it won't really uh, take this price because the price has gone above it because the price is trading above my stop loss okay so let's just exit from here okay I just change this to modify this to a limit order and exit at let's say 42.6 okay this would quickly go through and I'll also have to exit from this from this put let's say where the now what, what I have to do is I have to buy it in order to exit this so I'll be looking at where the seller is seller is at 27.1 so if I put this price in this would also go through I'll put a limit order at uh, 27 Point one, and I click on buy and the price has actually gone up so it won't go through immediately it, uh, the price has to fall so let's look at where the seller is standing at it's uh, he's at 27.3 so I can't really exit at at this price 27 point okay now I have because the price actually fell okay so HDFC bank this is what I did uh, some bit of profit in the future some bit of loss in the put but this is how you put the order in you have to look at the buyer and seller and put the price accordingly so i hope this video will help you understand how to put orders